Hello everybody, my name is Igor Paspal, I'm Guitar World Guitarist of the Year 2020 and today what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to spend your first 10 minutes basically with the Geek Performer 4. So you purchased or you get your Geek Performer 4, first thing when you launch it, how to spend your first 10-ish minutes, you know, exploring some stuff and learning just some basics uh, in this video related to guitar because I'm a guitar player. So yeah, we're gonna focus on, you know, some controls that guitar players are using the most and some stuff that uh, probably guitar players are gonna be interested in the most. Okay, so without any further ado, okay, let's check this out. So we have my uh, screen here and first time when you launch Gig Performer, you're gonna get this. So when you launch it, you're gonna get a, a obviously choice of the beautifully made templates for all kinds of instruments. Those templates are, are templates are made by good people from Desk U Technology, company that makes Geek Performer, of course. And since I'm a guitar player, I'm gonna first launch this one, which I actually particularly like. So it's electric guitar with master fix template. So I'm gonna double click on it. And it's gonna, you know, load those also sorts of kinds of amps, rec spaces, effects, and there you have it. Now, immediately I will get sound here. Now, first thing obviously to check when you uh, when you launch Gig Performer is if you're not getting sound, you need to check your audio settings. So to make sure that you are going to your uh, right sound interface, out outputs and inputs. So you go to options, you go to audio setup, and in my case, it's actually first time I launch it, it immediately recognizes I'm using Universal Audio Thunderbolt. So you put it like an input device, it goes to output device. And for most users, yes, you will just uh, choose your, your input device and output device, your sound interface, whether it's, you know, UAD, whether it's a focus, right, whatever. And that's it. Make sure that you here select the lowest possible buffer size so you don't get any any latency and delay while playing you know and that's basically it so what we have here immediately we get on this particular template pretty much template that you know 90 percent gigging musicians can immediately use to play around with it so you have few few sounds few rack spaces Especially I like this modern channel with the lead, which is beautiful. Beautiful. Now, uh, of course, well, what I would do first few minutes, definitely go through these sounds. Now, it's worth mentioning that uh, uh, any of these parameters, so people are immediately going to be interested, okay, so how do I control some of these stuff? Basically, with the MIDI controller, you can control any single of these parameters for that you have in your rack space or your amps. So basically, if I go to drive, let's say drive, what I can do, I can go to edit, just go to MIDI, and you hook up your MIDI controller, it's immediately recognized by Geek Performer. In most cases, you don't have to do anything. And I will just go to learn. Now, since I don't have actually my foot controller here, here, I'm just going to show you on my keyboard. So, I put the learn, and whatever pedal or switch you press, the Geek, geek Performer is going to recognize it, and you're going to use that switch, pedal, expression pedal, whatever, to control that parameter. Now, this would be ideally to control, for example, with an amount of drive with the expression pedal, but since I don't have it, it's the same thing. I'm just going to move my expression lever here, and look, voila, it's working. So, if I play... You see, it's actually adding the... Drive there. And that way you can literally control every single parameter here in the Gig Performer. What else to check here? Yes, you can go obviously to, to wiring also to check how all things are wired. So you can see here if you go to global rack space how it's wired. It's very simple to figure that out. Uh, you go from channel 1, right? which is basically where my guitar is plugged in in my audio interface. So basically this is your audio interface. It's just, you know, represented graphically. Channel 1, and I'm going to guitar input gain. It's already pre-wired here, so you don't have to worry about that, anything, at least in this first template. If you, for example, want to make your own template, your own setup and stuff, it's also very, very simple and super easy. You just go to New Gig. Okay, I'm not going to save the changes. So New Empty Gig. And here you go. 
Here's your audio input, here's your audio output. Super simple. Right click and I'm gonna for example now choose the choose the tune tra uh, choose the uh, THU, let me, uh, our overload, overload THU. Okay, perfect. Here's it. I'm just gonna take some load some preset, whatever. And obviously I don't have any sound right now. So what do you need to do? You need to connect your guitar from the input. If it's in input one in, in your audio interface, in my case it's input one and the microphone is input two. You can just connect it to the audio inputs of the THU and outputs to the audio outputs of your interface. And there you have it. Now, uh, next question would be probably, what if I want to use more than one uh, plugin or something like this? Very simple. You go to this plus sign, you add new rec space, and let's say in the next, you can even rename it, you know, like uh, whatever, like, let's say lead, first one was written, and you will get another window. Now on this one, for example, I want to use the Neural DSP Petrucci, some other audio plugin, whatever plugin you use or whatever you own or whatever you choose. And here you go. Same process, I'm just gonna connect everything. And there you have it. One of the great things in Geek Performer is definitely how seamlessly you can switch between these rec spaces. So probably a lot of guitar players said, oh, what about, you know, the, the latency between switching presets or something, switching different plugins? There's absolutely none. So look, if you check this out. No pops, clicks, nothing. And that way you can add pretty much as much as rack spaces, as much as, you know, effects and stuff that you need. So it's very super simple to make your own simple uh, little setup. Of course, you can go, you can go crazy with the routings, with the stuff. To be honest, I'm also not, uh, not super technical, you know, to do some crazy stuff that people are doing actually with the Geek Performer. But you can find a lot of tutorials and the manuals. But something that most guitar players uh, want to do, this is basically it. Basically making your own rack spaces and controlling them with the MIDI, MIDI controller or something. Let's see more. There's, a, there's actually more great templates here. That you can choose from if you're a guitar player. So this is one, the electric guitar with master effects. There's a guitar and vocal setup. Great one for, you know, like one man band or, or you know, if you're just playing acoustic guitar or something and singing with the mic, you literally get everything set up here perfectly immediately. And there's a panel, so you see this, it's also, you have everything ready, one, different kind of presets, re beautiful reverbs, stuff like that. I'm not gonna sing anything, because I'm a terrible singer. And the same way, you know, if you want to edit any parameter, for example, here you have guitar rack space out level and vocal rack space, you want to control something like a, a level of guitar with expression pedal or level of your voice, just go to edit as I just did. You just choose the MIDI, learn. I'm gonna use, let's say I'm gonna use now this volume uh, on my keyboard. And here you go. You see how it's moving. So it's super easy to do this. You can also add in your own rack spaces and stuff. So for example, if you go here, look, you have these rack panels here already in Archive, so if, for example, you, you, you like one of those, you do, you go Edit, right click, over here you can just save this panel, so this is, let's say, Igor, Igor New Panel, it's going to be saved in Panels, and then you can just edit See, so you go to New Rack Space. Let's call it Igor New Panel. New Panel. Go Edit. And you can load this panel from your, you see, saved panels. And there you have it here. Of course, also you can you can add you, you can customize literally everything. Look of your panels. You see here, you have a lot of these different kind of knobs, slider, adding you know some controls that maybe you don't have it here. 
you know, by default. And that's basically it. I mean, it's very easy, simple to use, even if you're not, you know, very technical, even with the MIDI, with the routing. So it's basically, you know, when you go to, to panels and wiring, it's basically representing uh, your devices, your, your physical device, your sound card, your monitors, your, your inputs and outputs, your rack spaces, your plugins as an amp, just in digital form. So it's simple as, you know, adding some stuff, you know, whatever it is, again, and just connecting, you know, little virtual cables in order to get the sound. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. I hope you're going to find some useful tips inside and see you next time. Bye.